that you've probably heard, Ethel Kennedy, matriarch of the Kennedy family, has died at age 96. Ethel Skakel married Robert F. Kennedy in 1950 and campaigned relentlessly, often while pregnant, for her brother-in-law, John Kennedy, and her husband. The couple had 11 children together, the youngest born six months after Kennedy's assassination in 1968. Ethel was at her husband's side that day in California and spent the rest of her life furthering the social justice causes he championed. He made people aware of uh, the fact that they could have an effect and that they should try. Ethel Kennedy had 34 grandchildren along with 24 great grandchildren. She increased police funding to recruit and train more officers. That's why Angela is recognized as a leader on public safety now. Because Angela's always fought for us. And it's why we trust Angela to work for us in the I'm Angela also and I approve this message. Andrew, call morning one. Steve Hartman is here to remind us Halloween is just around the corner. Make no bones about it. Bill Pyle's front yard has bones all about it. But to him, the scariest thing out here is his mailbox, which every year curses him with hate mail. So this is a side of Halloween decorations I never knew existed. <laughs> there are people that complain about them? Yes, you know, worshiping the devil, you're going to hell, you're going to find death. Yeah. Which is why he was already thinking about scaling back the display when the last note arrived. I stopped dead in my tracks in the driveway looking at that letter. Tammy Wyhe wrote that note. Yeah. Tammy has breast cancer, and to get her daily radiation treatments, she had to travel this country road in Oxford, Ohio, right past Bill's house. Given her situation, it's understandable how this diorama of death could be unsettling. But the tone of her letter was more humorous than sternum. Tammy wrote, The Bone family and what they are up to is a highlight of my journey. She went on to explain how her last day of cancer treatment was coming up and how grateful she was for this daily diversion. And when Bill read that, Tears came to my eyes, really touched my heart. And right then, he knew what he had to do. Uh, another skeleton. He worked through the night, so that when that letter writer made her final trip past his house in the morning, this is what she saw. A whole skeleton crew cheering her on. It was very touching to think that somebody would go to that effort for a stranger. Former stranger. We talk all the time now. You went to go out and see these guys? Yeah. Bill says Tammy's letter, and now friendship, have completely negated all the hate mail, inspiring him to not only keep his display, but to grow it. Things are going to stay up and they're going to stay active all year round? All year round. There's more letters to come. <laughs> there, <laughs> there will be. Good and bad. Yeah. <laughs> See you tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on the Family Field. Show until next time. This is Peter Tomorrow, and on behalf of the Focati Rug, saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye bye. So anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye bye. Yeah. We got we, five seconds. Oh no, we have three. Two, one. Bye. bye.